In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to reset the ecosystem address of a Lutron ecosystem baluster driver using the Lunatone USB interface. You'll be doing this procedure on a fixture in the ceiling. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using this fixture right here. To begin with, you'll need to install the Lunatone software. Step-by-step -step instructions for doing this are available in Lutron App Note 816, available on Lutron.com. Before beginning, make sure you turn off power to the fixture at the circuit breaker panel. Once the power is turned off, you can remove the lens from the fixture, remove the ballast cover, and expose the ballast and wiring inside. Using a pair of wires long enough to reach from the fixture to your interface, plug one wire into a DA plus terminal and one wire into a DA minus terminal. The polarity of these wires does not matter. Then, simply plug the USB cable into an available USB port on your computer. With power off to the fixture, remove the existing connection to the ecosystem terminals. Cap off these wires. Then, take the cable that goes to your Lunatone USB interface and insert it into the terminal block. The polarity of this connection does not matter. Once your fixture has been wired to the interface and the interface has been plugged into your computer, you can now turn on power to your fixture from the circuit breaker. Now launch the Dolly Cockpit software. You should see a window similar to this. The first step is to click the on button. This applies power to the ecosystem link. Once you see that bus power is turned on, press the Dolly commands button. This will bring up a window allowing you to send commands to clear the ecosystem address. When the window shows up that you see here, click the Commands Over Time button, and then click Open File. You're going to select the Query Short Addresses on Bus link that you downloaded from Lutron.com. Click the Start button, and it will run the, through the list of commands. You should see one and only one device responding to the commands. It doesn't matter which row this device is on, but in our example here, it happens to be the first fixture. Yours will likely be a different row. You want to verify, though, that one and only one row responds to the query status command. Once you've verified that, click the Open File button and choose the Clear Short Addresses command. Now click the Start button. This process actually clears the address in the device. To verify that it's been cleared, click Open File again Choose the Query Short Address on Bus command again, then click Start. Now, you should see no devices responding to the Query Status command. Verify by scrolling through the entire list. If you see no responses, then you know your ecosystem device has been cleared. You can then proceed with disconnecting the interface. By following this procedure, you were successfully able to clear the ecosystem address out of a Lutron ballast or driver. You can now reuse this ballast or driver in another fixture or save it for later use. If you wish to repeat this process for other ballast or drivers, just follow this procedure again. Please see App Note 816 available on Lutron.com for more details on this procedure.